This is Gary Gun here, live from beautiful sunny Malaysia. How are you doing on a beautiful Wednesday morning? Okay, and if you are in different parts of the world, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> so I hope today is an amazing day for you, like it's gonna be an amazing day for me and some of the people here. All right, so today I'm gonna talk to you about this very very misconstrued idea of everybody conforming to the same rules now let me tell you my topic today why uh, if we all believe you know every, it's like a cliche everybody talks about you know everybody is different okay we know and we talk about it and we, we somehow brand that people oh that person is uh, different in terms of culture in terms of race, in terms of height, physical build, in terms of education background, in terms of past life experience, life journey. So everybody is different. Everybody comes from different, different environment, living experience. So if everybody is born differently from different cultural uh, background, why, if you notice that education programs in schools are running on a conformity format. In other words, everybody must fit in. Can you just imagine this immense forest which houses all different, different types of animals? You have snakes, you have fishes, you have monkeys, you have wild boars, you have probably tigers, I don't know, elephants or whatever, zebra, giraffe. If you are in Africa, you have probably more wildlife right then in the people in the city you have giraffes zebra and whatever don't you think that every different types of animals although they are all known as animals but the different different types of animals have different gift different abilities different strengths and different weaknesses now can you imagine if all these animals are put through one single system for them to pass to be graded as whether they are great, medium, or lousy, failure. What's going to happen to all these animals? You think about this. Think about this for a while. What's going to happen? Isn't it going to be very weird? Now, if you are going to judge all the animals in the forest by the ability to climb a tree, probably you will only find one of two champions. Monkeys, and probably, I don't know, one of those cl uh, trees climbing animals. The rest will be total failure. You, you, you have the zebra is a failure, the elephant is a failure, the tiger is a failure, the fish is a failure, the snake is a failure. Everybody is a failure, right? The question is, do you think the flaw is on the animal, which they can't do the thing because they are not born that way, they are not gifted that way, or do you think the flaw is in the system? Think about this for a while. Think about this for a while, seriously guys. Are uh, the children of our future generation headed towards destruction? I mean, think about this. We are all putting them on the same system of education irregardless what they are gifted at, what they are good at. We, we fail to see and judge them based on what they are good at. Instead, we, we tend to say, fit them into the system because that's the system that everybody conforms to. Now, that is ridiculous, right? That is utterly ridiculous. And when you try to put all this into that system, then we start to brand them. Oh, this is an A-class student, this is a middle-class student, and that's all the lousy students, the failing students. Now, you think about this. Think about this for a while. I give you another scenario. In the world of sports, you put all these athletes, all these famous athletes, Ronaldo in the world of football, into that room. You put, um, let's say, Roger Federer, tennis, into the, that room. You put Lee Chong Wei, badminton, into that room. You put Michael Phelps, the swimmer, into that room. And then, you suddenly put one system to grade all these super, super champion athletes and to see who is the highest ranking and who is the lowest. And you, let's say you put all these different, or let's say the, the, the boxer, let's say Mani Pacquiao into that room. And then you grade all these champion athletes for their ability to, let's say, swim. 
So, you know what's going to happen? The only champion will come out from it, Michael Phelps. The rest, failure. And the society actually, actually, actually grade the people, especially our children, especially the people in the mainstream education that way. My God, if you think about this, Michael, uh, uh, Roger Federer can never be a swimmer. He is born and designed to be the best tennis player in the world. <laughs> I mean, think about this, right? So, what I'm trying to say here is, there is a big, big, big flaw in the education industry, in the education system. And I don't care whether it's a public school, private school, international school. The fact that if your system, the education system is judging all the individual on just the one ability and they don't look at the strength of the individual, that's a big flaw. The reason is because everybody is born different. Me, for example, okay, I may be very lousy in my mathematics. I may be really, really lousy in my science. I, I used to hate science subjects. I don't like chemistry. I don't like biology. Unless, you know, you ask me to dissect the frog. <laughs> it was very interesting. I find it very interesting dissecting the frog and actually seeing a lot of things inside. But I, I, I hate it. Seriously, I hate the subject. I hate uh, uh, physics, you know. Yeah, but... Today, I'm a very, very successful entrepreneur and I'm a very, very successful life coach. I'm able to show very, very highly qualified academically people who wants to lead the life. Can, can you imagine these people spend so many years of their life academically and today, they want to live the life that I have. The life of a high school graduate where I started out with only 100 US dollars a month. They like my life, they like my results, okay? So what I'm saying is, it's not just about education or my results today. The point is, are you using your gift to your, to your maximum benefit? Or are you putting your gift aside and looking at somebody's gift and thinking that you should be the person because that's what society wants you to be? Can you imagine the fish looking up at the eagle and saying, I'm such a failure because I can't fly? Hell, you're not a failure, you're a fish, you're designed to fly, designed to swim. That's an eagle designed to fly. <laughs> okay, so guys, seriously, if you are watching this video, um, and if this is the first time you're hearing this concept and it's really opening a light bulb, I want you to continue to focus and think of this really, really serious global phenomenon, okay? Many years ago, I do not have the... The, the luxury of people telling me this message but today if you go on YouTube you go on Facebook you can find a lot of positive messages that is that is actually pointing you to this direction forget about what society expect you to be of course then the question you ask then why is the system created haha <laughs> do you want to know okay give me a comment there if you want to know if you want to know why is this system created and why is this system created in such a way that a lot of people's gift actually is taken away and it is they are being disempowered instead of being empowered they are being disempowered do you know why i'm telling you right here right now the reason this system is created is because a minority of the people in this world wants to take control of the majority of people in this world in order for the minority to be the lords, to be the master, to be the employer of the majority, they need to disempower you. And that's the reason why they take your gift away and give you something to conform so that they can control you. If everybody leaves their gift and everybody becomes an amazing individual, my question, who's going to throw the rubbish? Who's going to serve the food? Who's going to do the delivery? Think about this. Now, I'm not saying that those work are, are really disgraceful or very low, no. But somebody, somehow, somebody has to do that job unless one day is being taken over by AI, by robots, which it is already now happening. So the point I'm trying to say is, if you think about this very, very seriously, 
it's time for you to be aware of what's happening around the world. Open your eyes. With the world that we are living in today and the, the, the availability of information with on your fingertips, in your fingertips, through the social media, you can actually, actually free yourself from this bondage of wrong programming that is creating a lot of people to be average people. People born for greatness program to be a mediocre. Alright guys, so once again, I hope today's information is very beneficial to you. If it opens the light bulbs in your head, I strongly encourage you to share this video, okay? Subscribe to my YouTube video. This, this live video will be available on YouTube shortly. Subscribe to my YouTube, share this information so that we can empower more people to know the truth and free themselves from this programming. Alright, so once again, Gary Gunn here, live from beautiful sunny Malaysia. I'm having a great life. I hope you will be having one too, or you will be having one very soon. And with this, let's be the miracle the world is waiting for. And with this, have a great day. Bye.